Hello to all gamers. I know you're sick of seeing the misbegotten warrior fight, the crucible knight fight. What I'm thinking we're going to do today, we're going to bring back the Elden Ring Casino, but we're going to use the golden effigy. So I want you to be aware that when we use the golden effigy, we could be summoned for any boss that we have seen, which means we could be summoned, and I expect there's a very realistic chance we get summoned for Radon. So I'm going to run the casino after we know what boss it is. That way you have some awareness, okay? Wait, it's only in the area that you're in? So if I, I can't put down like a golden effigy here and get summoned for Godric. It's it's just the nearest summoning pools. Go to Kaelid, you coward. What the hell? Where do you think I am? Look, I'm lit I'm next to where it says Kaelid on the map. You need a you need a GPS. Anyway, I also watched Bear Taffy play a little bit last night, and I, I gotta be honest, I like, I mean, I don't really care about spoilers at this point, just because the game's so damn long, but Bear Taffy was up here, up here somewhere, we're almost at, like, the same point, we're just, like, we're the same level, but he's, like, at a different place, also, he's beating Radon like a piece, but he was, like, up around, not the Grand Lift of Dectus, but he was, like, in and around here, and I was like, what? There's some cool stuff going on in and around here. We also have the Grand Lift of Dectus, but I think for now we'll just do some summons. Anyway, so I don't know, man. Let's just try it, okay? Let's let's go to our pouch and let's get uh, let's put uh, the small golden effigy on our pouch, man. Why not? Why not? I don't understand. What, what's the point of the multiple pouch slots? Like, wh I mean, these ones down here. What do I, those two are just eh shortcuts. No clue, no clue. I like what we got. Oh, you know what? We don't need a memory of grace up here. Switch that out and put on the finger severer. Keep your quick bar clean. Okay, anyway, triangle. I will send a co-op sign to summoning pools. And then look, I expect that we will get summoned pretty quickly. I just want you to be aware that if it's Radon, please bet accordingly. And also, will this be successful co-op? Also, if it's not Radon, bet accordingly. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. All right, here we go. And then I've been trying to make my host confident whenever I get summoned, so I just start by doing this. And I, I feel like this possibly imbues our host with a sense of, uh, you know, confidence. They feel like maybe because I'm looking so gangster here, they're like, I'm, I'm safe. I will say I, I did about maybe half an hour of summoning last night. Uh, not at Radon, but at Crucible and, and Misbegotten Warrior. And I'll tell you, we had, I think we had three successful co-ops in half an hour. And one of them, all three of us lived. And then at the end of the fight, we were all doing this. We were all doing this. As, as the Crucible Warrior went down, we were all beating our chest. It was an incredible moment. Okay, you, we got to go in. We got to go into the fight. Can we go... I know you're summoning like another cooperator, but... This is an easy all-in. I mean, someone... Ains Green, you put 250,000 points... On Belief... Don't get me wrong, it's a juicy, like, you know, 13x if it if if we win, but I'd be surprised. At least let me fight the boss. 
No, I haven't done this boss for myself yet, but I think I realized yesterday I was just playing on tilts. And I can do it. I just gotta learn how to roll again. Okay, I gotta... I'm gonna... I'm pulling out my finger severer. You have three seconds to start this fight, okay? Don't worry, I've done this a thousand times before. You're safe, okay? Go through... Go through the thing! All right, you think I'm scared of you? I do. By the way, I'm not going to check because I'm scared. But I do have the aggression talisman on. Which is another reason that I feel like I was more successful in the co-op last night. Apparently, it does not matter. But it definitely, during uh, the, the Crucible Warrior fight, having the aggression talisman on was a huge help. Okay, you've been shot. That's fine. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Voice reveal. Okay, I'm alive. Think about the believers. That's not gonna hit. He's getting closer. Okay, I got the aggro. We've landed a hit. I don't think I'm able to take my horse out in this fight. <laughs> so I gotta... <laughs> I gotta play it a little differently. Oh, whoa, yeah, 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 caster! Caster spotted. That's my bad. That's my bad. This with four flasks is gonna be tough. On the bright side, at least we're like learning stuff, you know? At least we're learning patterns. I know my role. My role is to be here to steal some aggro, let the caster get some casts in. Maybe they'll get a lucky, a lucky strike. What the hell is this? What the hell is that guy doing? He's just standing still. You're no Alexander. I got scared. I heard a, a dog, a wolf howl behind me. There we go. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm still helping. I'm learning. I'm helping. I'm learning. I'm landing shots. You're okay. Don't that's not even like a big attack or anything. Whoa! <laughs> Gravity well? Gravity well? I'm okay. Whoa! Are you kidding me? We've staggered the Scar Surge Radon. Such a thing is possible. He's not even on his horse anymore. Gravity well. Big whoop. No! No! Okay, it's hard to argue that, like, the... That the host let me down on that one. But I was trying. I was trying my best. Give me some... I'll, I'll, I'll throw down another golden effigy here. We paid out the doubters. Of course, I would love the... Uh, to do the Crucible Knight Misbegotten Warrior fight, but we have spent a little too much time at it, probably. I would love to be summoned that Godric. Like, I know that Margit is way too early... For us, like, we're gonna be dead much. What a name. Yo, let's go! Those are rookie numbers. We gotta pump those numbers up. Hold on, start prediction. I'll give you a minute. You're probably, we might be dead in 30 seconds, but. Is it for, is for me? Not for me, okay. <clears throat> is for me? Not for me. Yo, scums. Thank you. Thank you. Is for me? I've not finished Radon yet, okay? But I'm working on it. Is not for... Uh, is for me? 99% doubt? Honestly? Let's just call it like we see it. That's deserved. 
I'm just waiting for the host to get close enough to land some shots. Oh my god, he's... 61 damage per bolt actually doesn't seem that bad. Believe it or not. I need the aggro. I gotta get in there. Just give him one hit. Please. My man's is struggling out here. I hope he doesn't have the aggro talisman on too. Okay, that's just an attack. I don't know, you might have to jump over that. That's gonna be hard to get in the old cerebral cortex. He's given up on his crossbow. You know what, it might be the right play. I'll, I'll give him some credit on that one. I got one flask left, I'm not sweating it. This is good. That's bad. Anybody up getting staggered? Or just me? Making it to gravity well, that feels like... Honestly, that's like a moral victory at least. I feel like this guy's kind of holding his own. Am I crazy? And by this guy, I do not mean me. I don't know why I would get close to that. Honestly, it's like a, a blessing when we outlast the host, I think. I think I can be impressed that we outlasted the host. Dead much? 5% belief? Come on. I mean, that's like... I guess you... Some people will always go for the underdog. Complete prediction. We'll put it on no. Um... I need, I need to break up the monotony a little bit. Give me a crucible. Give me Spagadden Warrior fight. I'm ready. I always prefer to be cheering on the streamer. You know what? I like that. Let, let the doubters... You could still get a big win if you do small bets. You bet 100 points on belief. You get your heart rate racing a little bit. The doubters feel more confident. They bet uh, they bet 250,000 points on doubt. That'll still create a situation where it's like a, a 99 to 1 shot. I'm, I'm looking at the numbers. I'm very scared. <clears throat> Don't tell them my strats. This is how I win. I gotta say... As somebody who has done this fight, what, what's wrong with our our misbegotten warrior? He's Metal Mario. Uh, as somebody who's done this fight sixty times now, this is a this is a good team so far. They're doing a lot of damage. They're doing what they need to do. They're focusing. I don't know if anybody even took a single hit. You think I'm scared of this? Come on. But, if you're a doubter, don't cry, okay? Because all it takes is the host getting a little greedy. Or me getting a little greedy, because if I don't live to see the end of the fight... What? <clears throat> I'm stupid. I'm, I'm incredibly smart, okay. Take a sip. It landed. We take those. I got the aggro talisman. That doesn't frighten me. Dude, the, the host actually knows how to uh, handle the attacks. What a world. You ever... Nothing cheeses me off, man. Like somebody getting summoned and then literally just standing back. I don't care if you're out of flasks. Do your job. Otherwise, you're just an anchor. You're just making the fight harder for no reason. Oh, this is bad. That's what Dan did yesterday? At least, like, throw some dung pies or something. Like, like go to your inventory. I, I didn't think it was possible, but I just lost some respect for Dan. Not for Radon. That's a different guy. There you go. He's getting in there. Even if you have to give your life so that the host can have a better chance to live, that's what you signed up for, man.
every time. I, I don't know. I, I, the success rate on people actually dodging that in co-op is actually like probably like one in eight, I would say. If you ever see that attack, prepare for your host to just be dead. That was a terrible roll for me, but you know what? Just be cool, man! There you go, get some punishes in here. I'll solo this dude, I don't give a shit. This isn't my first Rodeo. I'll be the change I want to see in the world. Oh, that's not gonna hit. No, that would have been huge. <clears throat> they dodged it! And they both dodged it. That's like, I, I, no, nobody on earth has ever seen that in the wild before. No greed. My Diet Coke's already gone. Don't worry. The Diet Coke is, it was the first flask used. You got it, lads. Here's the thing. Whenever he's not facing you, you have to get in there for some kind of punish. It's just me and the host now. Okay. You know, one tail whip and I'm out. But if I could do enough damage oh, to see the Crucible Knight fall. I think they still got a chance, but that's a, that's a doubter payout. 45% belief. Holy cow. Scammed, scammed. I mean, like, you need to, again, people, they always just look at the last data point. We did almost everything that whole fight. <laughs> the host was actually, they were, they were hanging in there. They were doing what a, what a host is supposed to do. The other dude just uh, literally standing there giving the boss 50% more HP and not doing anything. What the heck is this? Kratos. You got God of War in my uh, Elden Ring. You got Elden Ring in my God of War. I love seeing a caster. Have you also had the experience that it's usually easier if they don't summon a third person? I've had a couple of like really good three person attempts. But I have definitely also had situations... Because it's just like, I don't think the average person... And I'm not saying I'm the best Elden Ring player in the world. Obviously, that's false. But the average person is not very good. Like, I'm stunned at the number of people who don't even make any attempt to dodge... Anything that the Crucible Knight does, in particular. They just run in there and they're like, If my heavy attack doesn't work, then I guess the fight's too hard. This is kind of beautiful, though. So I think that, in general, the more people that get summoned, the more likely that somebody's making the fight harder um, without having the skills to pay the bills. But I will also say, double caster and then me as a tank feels like a great setup here. But life can come at you quick. Like, what is his pride? Just use a flask. I don't know why everyone's running flaskless percent. Like, Kratos, if you die because you're not using a flask, I'm going to flip my freaking lid, dude. We need you here to output some damage. Kratos, use a... You can't be out of flasks. Oh, my God. You're... Typical God of War fan. If I just press RB, the boss will die because uh, my son is mad at me. Okay. Unfortunately, some games actually require skill. You're learning that one the hard way. That was my bad for sure. I bait, you punish. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Now, we both needed a flask opportunity. I don't mind. You flask, I flask. I'm on tables. I'm on tables. I'm flasking. He's punishing. Let's get in there. Let's do this. Don't worry. I got him. Might just be one hit, but it's one hit we didn't have a second ago. I still got two flasks and the Diet Coke. I am prepared. Keep casting, brother. I love that energy. Every little bit of damage helps. Beautiful work. That one's on me. Beautiful work. I got to heal, brother. That's all right. This is a great heal window. We can stay in. We can do this, man. We can do this. Beautiful. We're staying in. We're staying in. That's all right. It happens. Don't sweat. Look at how close he is, man. You got to have like at least five flasks left. Don't. That, that can one tap like so many hosts in this game. Impatience. The number of fights that I have where we get 90% of the way through and I'm like, this is the easiest rune arc I've ever earned. And then the host just goes, he's 25% dead. My IQ dropped 80 points. Just mash RB as fast as possible. You were handling the fight just fine. You just needed to extend your horizon like two minutes instead of 20 seconds and we would have crushed it. We were doing great. We did it without Kratos too. Booty man. He's holding a damn lantern, I think. What are you? Is that a Seistus? Are you holding a holy Seistus? It's the main hand talisman. What the hell? Always Diet Coke first. Safety always off. Oh, lightning. Let's go. That's some serious damage. Holy cow. He's got to be staggered. Like, this is... Our, our damage is leaving a little bit to be desired, honestly. I'm a little surprised by the lack of damage. Somebody's got to take Crucible Knight, man. No, no. Okay, here's my... I've learned how to deal with this, okay? We got to drag Crucible Knight to the other side of the map for a second. Then we get in and we help with uh, Miss Begotten. Because they're going to need it. I've, I've learned the ins and outs of this fight. I've given it like I've given it everything I got. We still got a chance, brother. It's, if whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm on a quest to be the most toxic and also most helpful person this game's ever seen. Are you? You have the audacity to hit me with a group heal? You think I need a group heal? I haven't even used my Diet Coke yet. I'm telling you, brother, you just chill. If you... <laughs> you got any... Hey, you got any more of those uh, summons? You got any more of those uh, talismans? You got any more of those lightning spears? You wouldn't happen to have seen uh, anything at all, would you? I deserve that. I was looking at the host. <laughs> Sorry. Just half as many flasks to fight a Crucible Knight that's twice as strong. I think he's BMing, man. 
I refuse to throw this for the believers. But there is a part of me that wants to. Like, do you honestly think that I'm out of flasks? Take the aggro for five seconds. On, just be dead. You're messing up my vibe. You don't deserve to get past this fight right now, booty man. You need... I, I appreciate that. Th thank you. More of that, less of the, the group healing for no reason, please. Like, what are you doing? Why are you playing this? You, you think this is Final Fantasy XIV? Drop your AoE heal on the boss's face? Lost Ark player spotted. He's keeping you alive so you can do the work. Imagine how much less work I would have to do if he did anything. Alright, you know what? Maybe he's on the right level. Maybe you should let me do the work. Hey, why don't you use one of those heals on yourself, sir? I know you're so fond of them. I'm sipping. I need to stay in here. No fear. No flasks. No maidens. It's like I am the host and you're the summon, cause like you're you have like a four hundred millisecond lag on all of your actions. Look, we can still do this. Okay, that's gonna put a damper on things. Booty man, this is our huge punish. Don't worry, I got you. I got you, don't worry, okay? <clears throat> Choose outcome, pay out the doubters. Booty man, no. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Here's what I was saying. There's, there's a lot of bosses in this game that we could uh, summon at. Like, don't forget, you could always give Godric a chance. It might take us a little longer to get summoned, but. Give it a try. I mean, we could continue to get summoned for Radon, but. I'd kind of like to see it, you know. Kind of like to see the Radon victory by myself for the first time. I don't really want to do, um, like, Ravenna or whatever her name is. Just because it's long. But there's other bosses. Renala, Renala. This, that one's too easy, too. It was pretty easy. What about Loretta? I mean, Loretta is free belief juice. Too easy. Although we, we might not have any choice, to be honest with you. <laughs> Loretta is emergency believer copium. I think that's fair. I get summoned here in five seconds at level 30. Peace. Okay, let me, let me think then. Because we have fought some bosses. I mean, like, remember these? We, we could get summoned at, uh, was it the, maybe the Frenzy Flaming Tower? Is that where we fought those two, uh, there was like a priest and uh, an assassin or something? Am I farming rune arcs? No, if I wanted to farm rune arcs, I would just, uh... I would just fight Loretta over and over. But, like, it is actually kind of like an appropriate place for us to get summoned. 
But it's like we've only got the like the toss away bosses. You're not wrong. You wait. You know what? I got it. What? What if you fought a tree sentinel? You think there's people at level 60 that are fighting the tree sentinel? No shot? I don't know. I feel like there might be some people. This is the wrong bonfire, but... Yoop. 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 People fight Tree Sentinel at level 1. Yeah, but look at the average quality of person that summons us for the 2v1. And then, like, extrapolate. Those people are not beating Tree Sentinel until they're, like, level 60. Hold on, I gotta rest. But then I gotta remember... I finally beat him level 23. Where where do you put your summon sign down for Loretta? It's right here, right? Yeah, I think it's right here. It's such an interesting bet, you know? Because, like... We don't really have a problem with Loretta at all. But any host that has not leveled HP, which is 98% of them, can die in one hit. Hey. Summon me. Let's go! Okay, okay. I did see the map of Ohio overlaid on top of the map of Kalid. Come on, do we do we really need three people for Loretta? It's disrespectful to the host. Easy believe juice. I don't remember. <laughs> I've never learned Loretta's uh, attacks because I've never had to. So it's a little bit more of a... I wouldn't call it a gamble necessarily. Those aren't for me. Oh! I think calling it a gamble is a little disingenuous because we can always just do... No, who th one a doubter in chat told me to do wild strikes. Why do I listen to anything anybody says? Huge hit. Just roll through the attacks and respond with attacks of your own. That's fine. I might as well heal. I don't want to ruin our uh, our believer's chance at success here. Might as well stay frosty. See this, I don't think this is a great fight to be summoned for, just because it's too easy. I mean, at least like the Crucible Knight fight, it's slow, it's methodical. You know, it's not the most pageant-rich boss in the game, but it requires having your brain being on, for sure. This was indeed a successful co-op. Thanks for my rune arc. <laughs> too easy, too easy believe juice. I mean, it's nice to get a rune arc, don't get me wrong. Why not Godric? We haven't been able to get summoned at Godric yet, is the thing. We haven't waited for too, too long, but... I've probably waited cumulatively for like five minutes and have not been able to... Have not been able to get there. Okay, I'm just... I'm looking at potential co-op zones here. The Black Knife Catacombs 
So we would either, we would help with the Shade or the Assassin. Lake facing cliffs, I don't even remember. Way too easy though. Bestial Sanctum and then help with this enormous dragon that I've never fought before. Summon Water Village, I don't even remember. Help with the Sade. I don't know if I'm an, a smooth enough operator for that. Do Bestial Sanctum? I don't even know what the boss does though, man. Behind, that's another dragon fight, right? Behind Carrier Manor? Who the hell summoned him for the Mariner? Divine Bridge? If you get past the Grand Lift, there's a good boss shortly after that. Okay. Fair enough. What I'm gonna do... <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna come to the Bestial Sanctum. And... Like, I would not be optimistic about this. Because I, I've never fought one of these guys. This guy's gonna murk you? I might be too low level, man. He's easy, trust me, ahem. He's endgame? This guy's level 130. Oh my god. Um, he's easy. He will instantly kill you. Alright, here's what I'm thinking then. Let's do one more Crucible Misbegotten. We'll end the co-op section. We'll return... To the deck this lift explore a little bit and if we get a boss there that we're able to beat that is also appropriate to be summoned dead let's do that because right now we're, we're at a bit of like we're pinched a little bit i don't want to fight radon because i need to strengthen my mental uh let's run the casino here real quick so but we do have good stuff that we can explore which is nice And then, maybe we'll find a new area to be summoned, because right now, we're not getting uh, summoned at all on the bosses I'd love to help on, which is mostly Godric. Hello. Yes, hello. Okay, honestly, just put us in. I'm telling you, I'm being sincere with you right now. Tin, I like your style. I like you got a, you got a big weapon, but then also a shield. That's called hedging your bets. You don't need a third. I'm telling you, a third is, it's going to hurt us. This is like literally, you, we can play 2v2 basketball with Tin and LeBron James. Would you rather play 2v2 with LeBron James being 50% of your team or play 3v3 with LeBron James being 33% of your team? I would rather have LeBron James be as high a percentage of the team as possible. Especially when our option for a third is just uh, any random person who is putting their sign down here. What if LeBron joins as a third? I'll let you know uh, when that happens. As of right now, with uh, 50 data points, that has not happened. Tin, I'm going to sever... Unless you place us inside of this boss fight. Okay. All right. Fine. Katrina. A claymore. Shield with the number two on it. Let's do this. I'm ready. Oh, let me guess. Oh, Katrina put her summon sign down and then went to take a shower. See? Oh, no. They're, they want to fight Radon. Tin, put us on the damn fight, dude. Yeah, yeah, we're ready. Let's go. Also, you cannot wield that weapon. Did you see how long that took? Bro, go through the fog wall. If you don't go through the fog wall, I'm going to sever the finger. And then you're going to spend your life being like, why is this game so toxic? All right, guess what? 
Guess what, Tin? That's a new one. That's a new personal worst. We have actually encountered somebody who couldn't even get through the door. Does not count as a no. It counts as a cancel. Stop trying to win on a technicality. We all know the spirit of the of the bet. He's going to summon you again? I don't care if he summons me again as long as he goes through the door. If he summons me and I have to wait, I'm going to sever him again. Okay. All right. I got to be honest. Drip check. I like it. Look at that confidence check. I like it. Good start. Damage check. I very much like it. Actually dodged an attack check. It's a new world, baby. Holy cow. It's somebody who actually knows how to uh, fight the boss. You can still get hit. It happens. I'm going to get hit again. They're taking Crucible Knight. Okay. The dirty little secret of this fight is that actually... Help... <laughs> Uh oh. Um, end submissions, pay out the doubters. I had to end the casino early. The dirty little secret of that fight is that the Crucible Knight is easier to take the aggro from. Way to go, LeBron. Hey, even LeBron, he probably only shoots like 35% from the field, right? Really could have used the third person there. All right, one more, one more. LeBron had a tough game yesterday. Yeah, you can't do it every uh you can't do it every night. Okay, will this be successful co-op? What the heck? Psycho. I've never seen that anchor, man. Which is crazy, because I did watch Anchorman last night. I'm so prepared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink up. I drink your milkshake. Let's go in. Don't worry. Any poise users in the arena right now? Yes. The misbegotten warrior. Because I. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. When you carry a large anchor, we gotta land some of these hits, okay? We gotta stagger this guy. Why don't you go ahead? Okay, all right, you took him. That's fine. I, I got hit by him falling over, which is not the host's fault. That's my fault. Get staggered. I'll take the aggro for a minute. Good stuff. You do it, I do it. We trade off, we keep our green safe. I gotta get in. I gotta help you. He's gotta get staggered. It had that. Okay, you take time to flask. We got this. Let's go. Okay. Gray work. We needed that one. He could turn around. You gotta be careful with those. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I, I will say. He's kind of just bashing, but I do also respect the bash tech when the other person's taking the aggro, but you gotta at least be aware of the attack the boss is gonna do. Otherwise, you're gonna flask out. This could work, man. Look at that. Until tail whips, like the fight's actually kind of easy. Let's go! Let's go! He's a pro. Go ahead, chase me down. Tail whips are a problem. I don't know if that's ever going to change, though. Huge damage. That's like the most damage I've ever seen done to the Crucible Knight in one little salvo.
<laughs> he's actually... I, I would say he's beyond competent. He's actually just... just good. Let's go! He can be felled, literally! Okay, don't, don't, don't lose your patience, Psycho. We got this, we just gotta focus for like 10 seconds. This will be a nice believer payout. I got a flask! <laughs> Help me, you got the aggro, brother. You got the aggro, I'm flasking, okay. Great stuff. Now I got the aggro. Let's go! <laughs> oh. You know what? Hold on, I gotta hit him with the chest beat. No, I gotta hit him with the dunka dunka. Great player, honestly. That was that was a dream host. You, it was my pleasure. I'm ruined. Believers, nice little eight x for the believers. You do like to see that. Almost a nine x. Now the one thing I want to check. How close are we to a level? We're on a level. I'm a simple man. I like even numbers. Give me a little bit of that. Okay, let's throw in a slash marker. Elden Ring Co-op 1. 